I want to encourage you today out of Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. It says this. I don't need to look it up because I have encountered the scripture. It says, forget the former things. Don't dwell on the past. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Do you not perceive it? God is doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing in the earth. He's doing a new thing in you. He's doing a new thing in me. And it's not for the sake of just saying he's doing a new thing. It's actually discerning and partnering with the Holy Spirit, but he's doing a new thing. But that's not what I want to focus on. I want to focus on forgetting the former things and just share real quick, you know, um, I moved from Florida to Texas four years ago. And in my journey of moving and changing community and changing my friend group and changing jobs and, and changing church and, and all the transition and all the change, part of the invitation for me is this exact scripture I shared with you, forget the former things. And it doesn't mean that what happened in the past season doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that you know, there weren't good things, but there's some things in my past season that I needed to let go of, that I needed to forget, ways that I was treated, things that were said. In order to take hold of the new, I have to let go of the old. And if I'm still believing that it's always like it was, I can never step into the new. And and that's the invitation for you today the same invitation I was given. And so Holy Spirit, I pray right now that you would make a way where there seems to be no way and that where you feel like you can't let go of the past, that the Holy Spirit would come in with his comfort and his peace, just like oil. And it would just grease your hands to be able to let go of the negative things that happened in the past so that you can take hold of the new thing that God is doing and wants to do in your life and through your life. Amen.